Hey guys, it's Nate, AK The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday and we have a new team of the season squad releasing today. Here are some of the hints on this loading screen confirming from EA Sports La Liga team of the season. Now this is the top squad that we were expecting this whole week because of the reward set that we saw. Possibly Koundé, possibly Rente, and possibly like Usman Dembele or maybe Lucas Vasquez on the loading screen. Not entirely sure who those cards are, but we could see some really cool cards today. Hopefully EA changed things around. I feel like this is a huge opportunity for EA to kind of put past the Premier League tots and move forward into a better La Liga tot squad. I'm repping the Barcelona Messi jersey today because Messi should be getting a team of the season card as well. There's a lot of speculation on what that card's rating could be, what the card's stats should be. Now, of course, with Tots Premier League, we weren't that happy because the ratings weren't that good. The content, SBC-wise, was just bad this past week. So I'm really hoping that EA makes it a good La Liga Tots, juices the cards up like we want them to be. And please make Messi at 99. Now, there's com there's comments and rumors that Pelé is going to have the only 99-rated card apart from uh, this year in the game, like some deal that they have with Pelé. I'm not sure if that's real or not, but we will see what happens today. Now, right now, as I'm making this video, there aren't any leaks, which is kind of rare, right? Usually we have leaks. People are talking about the new cards that are going to come out. And you know what? To be honest, I don't mind it. I'm fine that we do not have any leaks, that we don't know what rating Messi is going to be. Now, that might change as we head into the day today on Friday. So, of course, keep an eye out on Twitter um, because people are going to be talking about that stuff there. But La Liga team of the season is today. So, some of the focus is going to switch off of the Premier League into La Liga Tots. I want to talk about the team that's going to be in packs today, what I'm expecting for that, the SBC content, objective content, new season content, maybe icon swaps, we'll talk about that, and the market, because I think there's going to be a ton of places to make coins today, as is a promo Friday, lightning rounds, more coins coming on to the game. Now, a lot of people have bought their teams, and I don't really expect a lot of panic today, because yes, we have a loading screen previewing some of the Tots cards that could be in today, but there's really not a lot of hype, right? Premier League Tots is the most hype week. So hopefully EA knows that and says, hey, we got to come back with a big week for La Liga team of the season. But again, just to kind of show you what I'm expecting for La Liga team of the season today is exactly kind of what we had for Premier League Tots. A 15-man squad, obviously going to be headlined by probably Messi. Benzema could be in. Um, I think Varane could possibly be in. Ferland Mendy, potentially. There could be some really good cards in this squad today. Day could be in. Um, from the loading screen, it looks like um, that card could be really good looking. Maybe a Marcus Llorente card. His, his item this year in FIFA has been really, really good. But again, I think it's going to be a 15-man squad. And of course, we don't know what that squad is. Last week, they released the Prem to us early. We don't know what the squad is for La Liga just yet. We'll be finding that out later today when EA tweeted out and all that stuff around the content drop. So I'm kind of excited for that. But 15 cards is what I expect for impacts today. Now, of course, the Saudi League is still going to be impacts as well. We have until May 10th for the Saudi League items. But the Prem cards are gone out of packs today. Your last chance to pack them until 6 p.m. today on Friday. Now, now let's go to objective content and talk about this a little bit because this is going to be, you know, shaking up a lot today. New season is upcoming. Season six is going to be starting today. So last chance if you, like I'm probably going to go play one game and try to get this level 20 pack because 781 XP for a rare election pack, I'll give it a go, right? But last chance for Rodri, Banford, and Tavred. Um, I think all these are expiring today since, you know, the season ex is expiring. Um, and we'll probably get a brand new season today with brand new level 15 and level 30 objective cards to grind for in FIFA today. So there'll be new cards here, which will be very nice. Um, and I would assume we will get some sort of La Liga objective player here in the grindable objective section as well. Maybe another Saudi Tots player, maybe two La Ligas, but we had two Prems. I really would only expect one from La Liga. We will see. Um, and then icon swaps is the other big question when it comes to object objectives. Are they going to re-up icon swaps right away? In my opinion, I really don't think they want to do icon swaps just yet. Maybe they do today. They could do it, and I could be completely wrong here, but I feel like they're going to wait maybe a couple days, maybe wait until Monday to drop icon swaps number three to kind of let the hype reside on La Liga team of the season coming out today and through this weekend. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. I really don't expect a new icon swaps until a little bit later. Now, SBC content today as well. A ton of these SBCs are going away. T 
Telemans is out for a little bit longer, but all your upgrade packs are going away. The midfielder icon pack is going away today as well. All your Premier League challenges, ton of this stuff is getting, um, it's expiring today on Friday. So um, you're going to see a lot of new open areas for new stuff to be added into the SBC section. I do expect a La Liga team this season SBC player to be added in to uh, uh, SBCs today. Hopefully they don't do a flashback, right? Last week with Premier League Tots, we only had one actual Tots player from the Prem, which is a huge L. That's why people were not very happy this last week with Prem Tots. It just seemed like the SBC content was lacking so, so much. So I, hopefully today we get a good uh, SBC player. You know what? EA, I would be down for, remember the Inaki Williams like rule breaker? We had two different options or like the Curtis Jones um, future star where we had two different options of the SBC to do. I would be down for something along those lines today on FIFA if they did something like that with a TOTS card um, from the La Liga. That'd be really cool. We haven't seen one of those in a long time. But that's kind of what I'm expecting content-wise today. Again, 15 cards and packs. The pack weight's probably going to seem pretty high again because you're going to have that secondary team that is in packs as well. Of course, 15% pack weight between the um, the Saudi League and the Prem Tots that are right now in packs. Probably going to be right around the same for La Liga release today as well. I do 100% expect lightning rounds, but the amount of saved packs up today for La Liga team this season is going to be extremely higher amounts less than last week for uh, Premier League team of the season. I don't think you're going to see the same market movements you saw with the Prem Tots cards last week in the first hour. Now, of course, last week, those cards got really cheap. They rebounded. Then they came back down after the weekend um, as there was a lot of hype for people to try out these brand new cards and get their mini squads and all that kind of stuff. I don't expect today that La Liga cards will get cheap right away. I don't think there's that saved up pack supply. It's just going to spam them on the market right away. I think it's going to take a couple hours. Maybe during that second or third lightning round, they will reach a low point. The hyped ones that people want to try out, they will go and buy, rising up into the night a little bit and then dropping down later into the night, into Saturday, potentially rising up into the day then. Kind of your normal formal card fluctuation but I don't think they're going to really get spammed on the market right away with tons of supply. So be very careful trading with the brand new TOTS cards today. I'll be watching them, of course, but I'm really going to be watching the rest of this market because tons of this stuff is very, very high right now on this game. Marcus Rashford, 3.6, 3.7 million coins with the amount of coins that were added to the market on rewards with a lot of these TOTS cards bringing so many coins to the game, especially on the elite tier level. Stuff has just gone bananas. It's so, so high. A lot of icons, icon moments cards, the best cards in this game for their icon versions. These guys are crazy high. 2.9 mil for Kaka, who was 2.4 mil just like two weeks ago in the crash heading into team of the season. He was like 2.5 mil all this last week, up 400,000 coins literally just the past couple days off of the amount of coins that were added with Prem Tots. Now, I think the market's very high. Could there be panic selling today headed into 6 p.m.? Now, right now, there's really not. And the market's really high. People have coins. They're buying cards for the weekend league teams that they've wanted to buy, and they have coins to do it. That's why you're seeing the market get so high. But new cards are coming out on the market today, so there's substitute items. I think you could see a few things dropping today, but what we're really going to be watching out for, in my opinion, are the icons because these are still very rare cards that a lot of people like to use. If you have Premier League uh, TOTS cards, I think those are going to drop off after the weekend. A lot of people are going to be content with the brand new Prem TOTS cards that they just got. Maybe they're red picks from rewards. They're going to be happy with those. They're going to be going out and trying out those cards in Weekend League. And today, again, some of your demand for Weekend League is just going to be the fact that there is a, a red messy <laughs> that people will be trying to you know play Weekend League to get this weekend for sure. I mean, that's going to be on some people's minds. And hey, there's going to be a messy available in packs uh, from this team of season side that we could pack. So they're going to be going for it, of course. But, um, you know, there's still going to be a lot of hype with TOTS cards and rewards. People just had a great week of Prem TOTS, maybe packing something sick from rewards. That's going to motivate them to try to get something even better this week with La Liga TOTS. Now, one thing I want to say is with the market today, like we saw last week, there was a lot of special cards from the Premier League that rebounded very well on Friday when the uh, Premier League TOTS squad came out. They rebounded very well into the Friday night, Saturday morning time frame as people bought up cards to link to these brand new ones that they were trying out. 
Same thing could happen today for the La Liga. I'm looking at guys maybe um, like this Serginho Descart. He was 220,000 coins yesterday. He's 236 right now. It kind of depends on who we get in the squad today for La Liga Tots. Like if you remember the community team the season squad came out and there weren't that many attackers or strikers. So those cards did extremely well on the market. If we get a Ferland Mendy left back card today, you know, that's a, a bit of an expensive card. You might see people on this game going and, and selling like uh, Roberto Carlos or this Teo Hernandez, other very expensive and meta and uh, very usable left back items on this game to go try out a very meta card like that. Same thing if there's like a center back. I'm kind of curious to see if we get a Kunde card today because I think he is one of the ones that could be hinted at on the loading screen and that would be a card that I think could move the market a decent amount as well. So I'm really gonna watch out for some of these La Liga special cards and if you have Premier League special cards that you invested in, like you could have bought this Adama literally three days ago for 700,000 coins. He is 931K. This Kent is up 100,000 coins. Awar is up 75K. A tall is really high as well. If you have some of these out of pack special cards and you wanna take the cash, I think there's going to be opportunities today on Friday where you can buy stuff low again and we have more coins coming onto the market and see a nice rise later in the night. So I'm going to be watching La Liga cards for sure. I'm also going to watch the drop off on Premier League specials because yes, Premier League is still hype even though it's technically ending. If you have a card like this Regulon, if this is back down to like 205, 210,000 coins, I'm going to get interested. Spanish links, right? Links to probably some of the cards are going to be in La Liga team of the season and you still have a lot of hype around the Premier League that just came out and just ended. People are just excited now to use those cards that they have gotten from upgrade packs, from doing SBC packs, or from their weekend league rewards that they want to try out this week. So there's still going to be a lot of hype for the Prem. So we're really going to watch those special cards today on the market as well as the icons because those are always great ones to keep an eye out for today. So... In my opinion, that's where I'm going to be looking today on the market the most. I don't expect SBC fodder to be a crazy, crazy place today. Now, fodder is kind of low already. Um, you've seen it for the past couple of weeks get really, really low on Fridays and on Saturdays. I think it is going to get low again, but there's, again, not the amount of saved up packs that we have had before. So if you want to get in on SBC fodder today on Friday during the lightning rounds on bids, probably going to be a great time to do that because they are going to release more SBCs throughout this promo, regardless of what they are, flashbacks, moments, maybe some TOTS SBCs. I would expect more SBC content during this promo. So we'll have to keep an eye out on this fodder if you did sell it and you want to get back in. Um, of course, it's kind of weird, right? Especially for me, it's been a slower week of trading. Now we have made some coins, but the whole premise and the focus like during the week is the upgrade packs, right? And that's gonna come out probably on Sunday again, but I think a lot of people are gonna be back on the market as we've seen with the prices going back up. People have done their share of upgrade packs, they've went out, they've bought cards for their teams or bought cards that they've wanted to try and that's why you're seeing the market so high. And I think that's gonna be again the focus, trying out the new TOTS cards today, which everyone's look really, really hyped especially like that Marcus Urente, I think could be a very hyped up card today. I think Kunde could be a very hyped up card. So just kind of links around those items or links to those cards could do very well today as well. Now I know today might not be as hyped, you know, just from a standpoint of, we just had a, you know, a week of Premier League tots that was a bit underwhelming. We saw De Bruyne, big names like Bruno Fernandez, Rashford, Salah, Son, and those cards are very, very expensive. Now, I do think that one thing that's gonna lend itself to more of the casual user base today is the La Liga team the season cards are going to be cheaper today than the Prem Tots cards were day one, just based off of the hype, in my opinion. Now, Tots from last Liga was unbelievable. We had so many good cards last year with Ramos, Varane, Griezmann, Benzema, Messi, Suarez, De Young, Cruz, Fakir. Even on the bench, you had Odegaard. It was a great card. This Diego Carlos was an insane, insane card. Now, of course, we're only having 15 cards this year, so we'll have a few less. Uh, but hopefully, the cards that come out today will be meta and usable and pretty cool upgrades that people will be very interested in using and plugging into their teams. So we're going to really watch out for some of those La Liga special cards as I think they could go up higher a little bit tonight. And again, I mentioned icons again, but I really like watching these icons because again, if you're somebody who has Prem Tot special cards in your team and maybe today you're opening some FIFA points and you get coins or you pack a La Liga Tots and you want to try it out, 
you might have some struggle linking those cards. Icons are always a constant in FIFA. There's always demand for them because of the links they provide and the legends that they are. And each of them just obviously to a lot of people in this game represent a time of football in the past where they used to watch somebody play or somebody who played for their favorite team. So there's an affinity there with icons, right? So I would seriously watch the icons today as well. I'm really not expecting a lot of panic on the market, but I think you are gonna see, unless we get some sort of like leaks and stuff like that, a lot of these prices right now are gonna be kind of at their highest. Like we looked at that Adama Traore, if you have some Premier League out-of-pack specials that you bought as an investment to sell post-rewards, uh, I think these cards are really gonna be at their highest, honestly, this weekend. Um, a lot of this stuff is going to be at its highest this weekend. So if you want to take the cash, be my guest, um, because I think this stuff is really, really high up. I know there's a lot of coins, but there's going to be so many more TOTS cards coming onto the game in the next two to three weeks. That's a lot of substitute items for people to be distracted with and go try those cards. And of course, more SPCs are going to come out, draining coins off of this market every single week and people are going to lose interest, right? People, if, if you spent all your coins this last week on doing upgrade packs and trying to buy cards for Premier League tots, you probably might've lost interest in the game a little bit, especially if this week wasn't as hyped as it maybe lived up to be. So we're definitely going to be looking out for more hints. If they update the loading screen, I'll be tweeting out about that on Twitter. So make sure to follow my Twitter link down in the description. And also we'll be live streaming at the content drop for the start of La Liga team season today on Friday. Link again in the description. But that's kind of what I'm expecting, man. Team of the season, week number two. I'm kind of excited, man, because I think EA could release some really cool cards today. I hope that they do. Good SBC content as well. And hopefully uh, some fun times on the market making coins today as well. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.